My name is Eluzar, and this is my story. So I have known God all my life. I had been jumping church to church, not really finding home. About a year ago, something really dark had hit my life. It's when I thought that me and my wife were gonna split up. And about that time is that when we found out she, she was pregnant with my daughter. That was probably one of the hardest things I had to deal with because I, had, I was separated from my wife while pregnant with my two-year-old son. I felt an absolute depression all around temptation from drinking, smoking, you name, not, not, don't name it all, but I've done, I've been around. And about that time that I was going through darkness is when my sister Carolina started looking for a home church. And she stuck around long enough to have invite me. And because she, she was telling me all these great things, man, these guys are awesome. These guys, you know, they're not going to judge you. They're just going to talk to you, man. They're going to love you from the second you meet them. I was still going through all this stuff, and I was like, no, leave me alone. I don't want, I don't want nothing to do with it. One morning she had invited me, and she had, I don't know what happened. I, I just, oh, let's go, let's do it. And that's where pretty much everything had changed for me because the second I got to the drive, drive in, you know, after all COVID, all this COVID pandemic stuff going on, you know, people are already afraid to even go anywhere. People were happy to be, even if it was had to be in the car, shaking the cars for a hallelujah, and a honk for an amen. <laughs> the vibe was awesome. I don't have, I have no idea what the pastor was talking about. Don't remember at all. I just know he was wearing a blue shirt. And right after that service, I had met my brother Riker. The first thing he said, dude, I like your car. <laughs> and I instantly liked him because he liked my truck. <laughs> Riker had invited me to, hey dude, we're opening up the church. Can you help me out? I'm like, dude, no questions asked, I'm go. I had a, a deep conversation with, with my past, my worship pastor, Reese, and he asked me this question, where's my relationship with God? Like it was a really easy question to answer, but also a really difficult one because I was going through the darkness and we spent a good three hours just talking about what's going on. I bust out in tears and I, I said everything, everything. And, and that's where I realized that I need Jesus. I need him, I need him in my life. I recommitted my life back to Jesus. The first thing I felt, I felt like a feather. All that weight had just lifted up off of my shoulders. I felt so happy, so relaxed. Something I haven't felt in such a long time. And I just started serving. Serving, because God had told me, just serve. I wasn't expecting nothing. So Pastor Daniel decided to do mentorship with me. and. And between that uh, mentorship, we had figured out where I had gone wrong in my personal life and in my marriage, which is a lot of insecurities and lack of leadership. So I started helping out with youth group. Leading youth kids are really challenging. One day my wife had messaged me about the song of Touch of Heaven. I'm glad you really enjoyed it. I, and I kept sending I sent her another song that she, she might like, she did. She was still pregnant at the time. Shortly after, we had a daughter. That day was heavy on me. I was really sad, really depressed, but really happy at the same time. Jesus had my back, my friends had my back. And I think this is where pretty much I felt like it was the biggest miracle, is where she decided to text me, hey, let's go to church. I wanna go with you. I've seen like, you have changing little by little. Something's obviously working. So, let's go. I didn't even ask her to go. I have, she decided in her own heart. I really wanted to come because awakens, they don't judge you. You could be the weirdest guy out there. You could be the sickest person out there. You have so many sins, they won't even care. They want you to come here because they immediately love you and they want to lead you to Jesus. And they have awesome vibes, man. My name is Elazar, and this is my only God story.